Brooklyn Independent Television. Now, can raw meat ever be hip? The answer is yes, if it's organic and you buy it from the hipster capital of the world, Williamsburg. But according to Sector B's Kathy Raynone, the young butchers she's about to introduce you to offer far more than attitude and a nice ribeye. So this is another pork shoulder um, from our New York State pigs. And just uh, right now, I'm taking the skin off. The Brooklyn Kitchen Lab and the Meat Hook opened uh, in November of 2009. It was a collaboration between myself, my two um, butchering partners, Brent and Ben, and Harry and Taylor, who own the Brooklyn Kitchen. We get customers who just care about the quality, um, want meat that actually tastes like meat. Um, we have customers that are very sort of health conscious um, and want, you know, meat that's like green and hormone free and antibiotic free and free range and properly raised and all that sort of thing. Because we get in whole animals, there's a lot of things that uh, you can get at the meat hook that you can't get anywhere else. What makes the labs, as we call them, and the meat hook um, really unique is it's a one-stop shop for pretty much anything having to do with food. You can come here and buy a piece of meat, pan to cook it in, um, spices to rub it down with, and vegetables to go alongside it, all in one place, which is pretty unique. Today I bought uh, the chicken legs. That's, that can sounds boring, but it's really high quality. I stopped buying any other chickens outside. Store. All of our uh, meat comes from New York State. Uh, it comes from small, sustainable family farms. Um, they're all slaughtered in small family owned slaughterhouses um, and they go directly from the farm to the slaughterhouse to us. We have some beef legs. These are 100% uh, grass fed um, animals from uh, a farm called Kinderhook in Ghent, New York. Pasture raised chickens um, from Pennsylvania or New Jersey pasture raised rabbits, pasture raised ducks. We have heritage breed uh, pork um, from New York State. We have 100% uh, grass fed beef. The sausages really are what we sell the most of. The classy side, anything Italian, like hot Italian sells really well. We do a toasted fennel and garlic. On the more non-traditional side, we have a bacon cheeseburger sausage. We give a lot of cooking advice because, and part of that is that we have a lot of cuts in the case that you don't usually see at a supermarket or really anywhere else. Um, you know, like beef shanks, like everybody's seen Osbuco, but then they kind of know what to do with that, but it's like cross-cut beef shanks, okay, what do I do with that? You can be like, hey, what's good, what do you like? And then they'll be like, well, they'll be very informative, which is like, it, it makes it, it's more personal, and so I wouldn't mind paying more money for something that's like more personal. You know, we sell things like beef heart, beef tongue, um, and those are really great things, but they, th there's a very particular way to prepare them so that they are good. This is something that we do with like, heart, like pig hearts and pig tongues, and it's, it's a jerky stick, just like you would buy at a truck stop. This, these are some of the fun parts that we get to mess around with. This is a beef tongue. We offer a lot of classes Pig butchering, lamb butchering class, sausage making class. In the winter this year, we're going to offer a country ham class uh, where we'll teach you how to make um, a, like an American country style ham. I feel like what's made this business so successful has really been word of mouth and that when people come in here, they are not just like being waited on by anybody, but actually people that own the butcher shop and are invested in getting them the best product, giving them you know, the answers to their questions in as much detail as, as they really want. Um, just having a, a general like really good customer service experience and like feeling good about your neighborhood butcher shop and be able to come in and be like, oh, hey, what am I having for dinner tonight? Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.